for the past 12 years, Springdale has honed our virtues and skills. Not only did it change us, it made us who we are. From our elementary years up to the final year of senior high school, we breathe and live the motto, Bene Omnia Facere, doing all things well. The ever dynamic mix of individuals whose talents and attitudes sums us up as a batch who rises to the occasion in the midst of adversity. What sets us apart from the others is our camaraderie. Our skills. Our talents. Our character. This is not an end. This is the beginning of a new chapter. A stepping stone for our dreams, our passions, and our goals. The indelible mark of the Springdale gentleman within us can never be erased. No matter where we are, near or far, we will be known as the Batch who left a lasting legacy in Springdale. We are Batch 2020. Hey Lizzie. Hey guys. Hey guys. My... Hi there, Batch. Hey guys. I think... Hey, hey, hey guys, a message. Hey, was... hey, Woohoo! Hi there, everyone. Hi, everybody. Magandang hapon, magandang umaga, magandang tanghali. Why? Because I was your Filipino teacher. Oh, I'm very sorry. I was your Filipino teacher. I would not say I was like, um, Filipinas really. I know you were having a hard time, and I know a lot of you were telling. Um, yourself probably, hi, but si Mr. Limpag ang naging guru namin sa Filipino. But I would like to assure you that I really did my very best to teach you Filipino and I was able to do my best to teach you PE also. So the fun memories I had with you is that when we're having a test, I know I'm just um, giving some tests that are not so hard, but I mean it's already hard for you since you're um, oriented with English. Um, all in all, I would like to say congratulations. At sana maging mababait at mabubuti kayong mga bata at mga anak. And go have fun. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are all doing well with what's happening in the world and the country. Um, just want to say, hope you guys are all safe. And congrats on the big milestone of completing high school. Um, my favorite memory with you guys, I'd have to say, would be our last graduation. It was grade 6. Yeah, because time really that was also the last year for me in Cebu till I moved to Manila. Some of you I'm still in touch with, some I'm not. Sorry for that. It's been tough here. But yeah, I hope you guys are all safe. Um, for those of you going to college here in Manila, I'll see you. I'll see you soon. I'll see you here. Uh, for those of you staying in Cebu, maybe going abroad for college, see you soon, friend. But yeah, hope you guys are safe. Hello, batchmates. My favorite memory with the class is probably Dinky's birthday party in fourth grade. And one more thing, congratulations, batch 2020. You made it. What's up, guys? Um, I think probably our favorite memory um, with the batch has been um, all the time as we played police on God with each other after class. Um, that was really fun. It was awesome. 
Um, you guys are great, and I know this kind of sucks that we don't really get to have a graduation, but you guys are all great, and I know you'll be able to push through this. Um, congratulations. One more thing, yeah. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hey guys, just wanted to say congratulations to all of you. I'm so proud of all of you for all the achievements you've done and for all the hard work you've put, whether it's through grades or class achievements or through sports and varsities and all that. Keep up the good work and I hope you all succeed in the future. I think my favorite moment was when Miguel Alita lit the class trash can on fire and that was such a fun day because I remember that we all we were all laughing as we got, we got the sub on by like the Lustrico. and to be honest that was like the one of the most fun days we've ever had as a batch and I can never forget that moment. My favorite memory with your batch is seeing you perform on stage. I mean your batch is one of the most talented and dedicated batches in Springdale. Basta kamo na gani guys ang masayaw sa masayaw or mukanta sa stage wala grabe malingaw gyud mga tawo ninyo. I think it boils down to great leadership. Kaila mo kinsa mo and I just hope that you practice and share that kind of leadership outside Springdale. And uh, my message to you would be to always, always focus on your goals in life and to always practice and keep keep the values, virtues you learned from the school. So, ayaw mo kauwaw, pakita o kinsa mo, you know, tatak, Springdale. And someday, guys, you you'll become leaders you become doctors, nurses, teachers, lawyers. So I hope you respect your subordinates, respect your superiors, and uh, you know, work ethics is very, very important. So please, please don't forget your teachers. And I'm happy guys that I was able to at least you know, impart learning sa inyo ha. So it was for a short time, for one year, and I hope uh, you learned something from me. Because just know that I learned a lot from your batch. You're Again, you're one of the best batches in Springdale. So congratulations on your graduation and don't cease on praying, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? Mr. Wirekal here. I am very much overjoyed to know that my grade 8 students are graduating high school this year. You guys have overcome a lot of challenges to see this day. I remember um, some of you were struggling during the practices and preparations for Mother's Day. And uh, you guys crowd inside the library to study together for the QAs. And most especially the help and inspiration that you guys have given to the kids in opera that uh, was also unforgettable for me so with all those events with all those experiences that you have um, shared together i think that you are more prepared and more equipped to face the new challenges in college life so go forth enjoy your new beginnings Conquer those new challenges, and I wish you all the best for the future that lies ahead. Hey, Batch 2020. What's up, boys? This is Mr. Aker, your previous PE teacher. So I'd like to take this opportunity to say congratulations. Such a great job because you made it to your special day. A day that will change your life. So... I'd like to recall some memories in our P class before. Can you still remember those harness thing? Doing some strikes, forms, and most especially to the live action sparring using those protective gear. That was really tough. And 
you were also able to experience a real-life tournament in futsal and indoor soccer. That was really fun. So, guys, I'd like to give you some short message. I know that your high school life, it was never so easy. But you dared not to give up. Because if you did, you will never be a step closer to your dreams. So, I know for sure that each one of you works so hard. And as your previous teacher, I am so glad and proud of you guys that you were able to make it through. So take in this moment with pride and joy because you deserve it. All right. A message to Batch 2020. Personally, for me, the four years I had in Springdale were really some of the best years in my life. I became friends with amazing people. I got to know a lot of talented individuals. And at the same time, I had lots of fun. To be able to just pin it down to one memory is quite difficult for me because there were a lot. And due to how many fun memories we had, how many unforgettable moments, it's really difficult to just name one memory which I'll remember the batch by. But for me, a unique experience was definitely the CAT we had. I pretty much felt like a bonding experience, something we're not usually accustomed to. But I think that's what made it all the more memorable. Having to go out in the wilderness, doing things we're not comfortable with, and most especially doing it as a whole batch, I think that was a beautiful moment that we can all cherish once we look back uh, at our high school lives. It's really difficult to just move on from all those four years I had in Springdale because I met a lot of great people and just the experiences we had with each other, I think both with my friends in Springdale and as the batch, the batch as a whole, I think it's really something which we can always have as a positive memory to look back. It's always going to be happy, unforgettable moments. And for me, I really need to thank all of you as in the whole batch for being a part of my high school life, being a part of some of the best years in my life. A big thank you to the ones who welcomed me at the school when I was a new student. A big thank you to the ones who were there with me throughout my four years at the school. A big thank you for those who supported me and for those who, may, who I may also have supported me. And it's really almost impossible to believe that we're now about to enter the next stage of life. But at least that at some point in my high school life, I was able to meet you guys, to make great friends, and to have lots of people who I knew I could talk to. And as a whole, it was really one amazing roller coaster which I will never forget. Looking forward, we know that we're all about to enter college this year. As unlikely as it seems, we're already at that stage. So looking forward, I just want to wish you guys the best always. I hope you all succeed in what you want to do in life, that you accomplish all your aspirations, and that you're able to achieve all that you want to do. I also hope that you will never forget me, as I will not forget you. Thank you to this wonderful batch of individuals who have become my family over the years. Batch 2020 will always have a special place in my heart. Hey guys, I want to keep this short and simple. Um, hope you guys are not completely bored during quarantine. Greetings from Canada, by the way. Um, something that I will look back on and find funny and find kind of nice to think about during our batch is definitely um, the, the amount of fun games that we just ended up creating during, for some reason. Um, the bottle flipping game, the Star Wars game, the Astiff game, or just how we were totally obsessed with erasing each other with Rubik's Cubes on who can solve it fastest, or just teaching the entire batch on how to solve a Rubik's Cube, which I found so fun and like just out of nowhere, like no other class ever did that. <laughs> But I, I think it was fun, and I, I look back on those days fondly, genuinely. 
Again, guys, I hope you stay safe. Keep to yourselves. Don't go out and do anything stupid. Two bros chilling in a hot tub. You know the drill. Not five feet apart, but six feet apart. It doesn't... I don't know where I was going with the joke. <laughs> but stay safe. Hope you guys are doing well at home or whatever you guys are doing. Um, but we did it. I wish everyone luck going on into university. Like, holy, we're already... We're already on that point, which is nice. Um, but yeah, congratulations, batch of 2020. We made it. Hey, lizards. <laughs> so we're finally graduating now, even though it's in quarantine. So that kind of sucks. Honestly, I would have paid a lot to fly over there and attend the graduation. Hell, I kind of even want to go back to school over there with you guys, but hmm, it's a choice I made to come here. <laughs> um, one of my favorites, one of my most favorite memories is when, during CAT training. And not really just one memory, but I have multiple. My sleepover, my house, and the stupid crap we do at school, the little nap times we'd have. Honestly, I really miss you guys. I wish I could go back there, but... Hell, I guess I'll just say congrats on this thing. Congratulations, Batch of 2020 on graduating. Also, look at this hair. Can't cut it, Mr. Isuke. Come and try. <laughs> I miss you guys. Hey, what was good, boys? It's Zach. I uh, hope you're all staying safe during this crazy pandemic. Uh, excuse the haircut. You know, lockdown hitting hard. But uh, no, but um. You know, despite only being at Springdale for like a year, uh, I created some of the um, my most memorable moments in my life throughout that year. Whether it was the uh, the big events we did as a school or a batch, like um, Father's Day, the athletic stuff, football, um, or even the um, the small little moments of you know hilarious um, memes and jokes that we made in the class among ourselves. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it because um, you know. Without having gone to Springdale or meeting every every um, every single one of you, I definitely wouldn't be the same person. Um, uh, I know you guys are graduating. That's a very very big thing. But I also know that, as far as I know, um, you guys aren't able to physically gather. Um, yeah, I feel really bad uh, for you guys for that. But um, I want you guys to know that you should all be very proud for graduating. It's a very, very, very big part of your life. It's a very big thing. You have to make the most out of it. You're finally free from high school. Uh, you're relieved. You're becoming big boys. You're becoming adults. Whoa. Um, yeah, and I know, I know, uh, some of, like a lot of you are going to college. So I hope nothing but the best for you. I hope nothing but good health for you and your families. I hope you live your dream, live your best life, and smash out all the goals you have set. Um, yeah, um, all the all the endless nights of hard work, studying, reading, working. Um, it's all it's all been worth it. Just know that, and um, you should all know. Um, be aware of what you have achieved. Uh, it's a big. It's a very big part of your life. And uh, I just like to say, congratulations, Batch 2020, on graduating high school. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe one day we'll cross paths and uh, yeah, we'll catch up from there. But uh, yeah, miss all of you guys in Springdale. Hey guys, it's your boy Jeremiah. I hope you're all doing fine even at this uncertain time. Straight to the point. Probably my favorite class memory would be back in the 10th grade when J.E. distracted the great Randy De Los Trico during our chemistry exam and the moment he kind of stepped half out of the door our class became somewhat of a flea market of answers Nah, I'm just kidding I'm not the same nerd that you all once grew up with but there's so many memories that we've all shared together that I can't really pinpoint the best out of all of them but what stands out to me the most would probably be that time when we were filming No Limitang Ere in the ninth grade. Since, let's be real, most of you were insufferable to deal with, to work with, 
but in retrospect just watching it again i realized how it was a it was a really funny time it was hilarious i mean more than half of the actual submitted work was bloopers hello flannings <laughs> In any case, I have no idea what's to become of us now or in the near future, but I do hope that we'll eventually find our ways, whether we're lost now or we're just completely unsure of what's to come. I hope we end up finding something useful to do in our lives and at least one day maybe we could cross paths again and share some more hilarious memories. And of course, I'd like to leave with a message. No matter what happens, get your shit together. All your shit, get it together. <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. Anyway, so Craig reached out to a lot of us and asked us to share a few of our favorite memories and alongside a short message. So I think I would say my favorite memory in Springdale would always be the year of the event we called Father's Day. Not only the event itself, but also, you know, the preparations that went beforehand you know it was always a collective effort and it always felt like we were family then anyway i hope you guys are doing well i know we're all going off to different colleges now hopefully we can still keep in touch even though i haven't <laughs> i hope you can forgive me for that but you know it's, time's been tough hope you guys have success in your future careers. Best, best memories in Springdale. So, I guess one of my best memories in Springdale would have to be uh, George randomly laughing in the classroom because I don't know for me, you know, it will really make your day. <laughs> and uh, another one would, of course, would have to. <laughs> another one would have to be. Uh, okay, can you just go on? Cut. cut that burping part. Okay, I'll go straight to man. I'll just cut it to the part where I'll see. I'll continue. Okay, so I'll continue now. So another one would have to be, of course, the cat days. So because during the cat days, you know, in the first four days, we suffered together. Where we did all those hard ups and stuff with the rope thingy, and then climbing up the mountain, and then getting quick ambushed. And then having a few hours of sleep and but then I guess in the end of it all you know I think it was worth it because we had that budo thing and then uh, we were able to eat a lot of food and eat a lot of soda and I guess that's what made it one of the best memories for me because you know we were able to share that as a batch and it was pretty fun so I'd, you know staying together in that camp for a whole week <laughs> yeah and yeah so that's pretty much it and I guess you know we're supposed to graduate like right now and have our graduating ceremony like a few weeks ago I guess or a few days but you know freaking COVID at the bomb and Norway and everything and it really sucks it does freaking sucks <laughs> but you know I still like to thank you guys for like, the 10 years that I had with you there in Springdale it was pretty fun and I get and I hope that you know when this COVID when all this COVID stuff are o is over that I get to spend doing more fun stuff again with you guys. And I will be really looking forward to that. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you. Springdale Batch 2020. Something I will never forget about your batch was when you were fourth graders. You were tasked to prepare something for Mother's Day. All the rest were already prepared for their dancing and their singing. But you guys did something unique. If you remember, we did hand mime. You worked so hard in our practices. You were complete. But during the actual presentation, I think one or two did not show up. And you know, if it's a hand mime, if somebody doesn't show up, it might mess up the presentation. But even if you were lacking one or two, you guys nailed it. Your presentation was so touching that some of the moms even cried. They were so touched. 
and they found it cute. So it was then that I realized that you guys are extraordinary. You're a group of individuals that are so talented, you're smart, creative, and most of all, you are all out. My message, always remember to nourish your character wherever you go. Hey Titans, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you still remember me, this is Mr. Elicabo. When I was a teacher in Springdale, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to teach such formidable and promising gentlemen, not just for one year, but for three incredibly life-fulfilling years. In that span of time, I've seen you guys grow from being playful and sneaky into becoming well-disciplined gentlemen. My fondest memory, well, there are actually a lot. I remember the times on the first days of school, I asked you to share to the class the last book you read or currently reading, the times we'd show up in class with our mini TED talks, our drama presentations, our discussions in language and literature, our short film projects and film festivals. Definitely your brilliant minds and kindred spirits. I miss all of those. I may not be a perfect teacher to you that time, but I take comfort in the fact that I have at least planted a seed in your hearts that would one day grow into a tree of virtues. My message to all of you, well this is gonna be long, as you guys prepare yourselves for university, I'd like you to know that college life is a test of faith. People will tell you that you don't have the talent, the education, the personality, but you know what? You have to believe you are equipped, you are empowered, you have the talent, the resources, the personality, everything you need to fulfill your dreams. Never forget to pray as well. Pray God-sized prayers. How you pray determines what kind of life you live. If you only pray small, ordinary, get-by prayers, then you'll live a small, ordinary, get-by life. But when you have the boldness to ask God to give you these things, big things, you ask Him to open doors that might otherwise never open. And never forget to believe. If you believe, you can be successful. If you believe, you can overcome mistakes of the past. If you believe, you can fulfill your God-given destiny. There is incredible power in what we believe, so shake off the discouragement, the setback, and the failure. Let yourself grow. We were never made to reach one step or one level and stop. We were created to grow, to move forward, and to increase. You know, miracles happen every day. This one is an example. I did not expect to receive a message from Craig and Inyaki asking me to make a video greeting to your batch. But when I got it, I immediately said yes, absolutely. I have been thinking of reaching out to you guys and congratulate you for your achievements. And this, I believe, is a seemingly perfect avenue given we are all virtual now. So let me challenge you to have a faith that God can see. Put actions behind what you believe. It's not enough to just pray, not enough to just believe, but take it one step further and demonstrate your faith. You may not see how your dreams could ever work out, but as you take steps of faith, you'll see God begin to open new doors. You'll have the strength to do what you could not do you'll see his favor in unusual ways. Now, I leave you guys with this precept I learned from the book Wonder, a principle to live by, basically. When you guys are given the choice between being right and being kind, always choose kind. To the class of 2020, go and spread kindness to the world. This is just the final message from Craig and I. We'd like to thank everyone who participated and shared those awesome words and those really kind videos and memories with all of us as we're graduating. Um, this is a reminder also, like this is also a reminder to the batch to be extremely grateful for the people who are part of our journeys. That includes our fa the faculty and staff, that includes our old classmates and all of our friends and everyone who might not be here at our graduation, but all the people who have had an immeasurable impact in our journeys as Springdale gentlemen. And people will never forget 
as we continue to go through our lives and uh, you know brave and face the challenges that the world might bring us so thank you so much and we hope everyone liked it And one more thing. Want to say congratulations? Congratulations! 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 Uh, batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Congratulations. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. Batch 2020. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you all soon. You guys did a great job. Congratulations once again. See you guys soon. And oh wait, one more thing. What's up? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's a Craig, huh? Uh, she was. Oh, and one more thing. We want to say congratulations, Batch 2020. See ya. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Australia.